Hello. In the previous video, uh, I made a tutorial for the charge of a capacitor. Uh, this time, we will cover also the discharge of a capacitor. Just a quick overview about uh, capacitor discharge. So, the equation we can see in this slide is uh, V equals to V0 exponential minus T divided by the time constant RC. We have 10 kilo of ohm, the capacitor 1 microfarad, uh, so we have a time constant of 10 milliseconds. Uh, the input voltage is 5 volts, okay? In the beginning, the voltage of the capacitor is 5 volts. And uh, we can simulate this in Excel file as well, so uh, it's the same what I did here. Uh, I started from 0 second, okay? We can see the table. I started from 0 second and I covered all the time until 100 millisecond. And um, in the column, of the right we can see the evolution of uh, the voltage at the capacitor level we can see the exponential characteristic of the discharge so first of all i will create a new schematic i will go to file new schematic and then i will proceed to placements of my components so i need one capacitor for sure one resistor okay to simulate the time constant and uh, a current source okay we will type only voltage here and uh, we find it we will take ground okay and then we connect all the elements of the circuits all right so everything is ready now we will proceed to uh, giving a value for each component so for the capacitor let's take one microfarad for example and for the resistor 10 kilo ohm so here uh, this is my circuit for uh, this simulation and um, okay to simulate the discharge of this capacitor i will have to charge it firstly and then we will discharge it so uh, all will be managed at that level of the circuit in the voltage so we will go to advanced and we will select pearls and we will start from 0 volts and we will go to 5 volts uh, no delay this means the simulation or the voltage uh, the generator voltage will uh, go to 5 volts um, when the simulation will start uh, rising time 1 nanosecond falling time 1 nanosecond okay because uh, I have a time constant of 10 milliseconds, so 1 nanosecond should not impact the simulation. Okay, uh, T on is the time uh, in which the, the voltage will remain at 5 volts, okay? V on, T on. So I will select 100 milliseconds. The 100 milliseconds should uh, largely cover the charge of capacitor. Uh, the period in second, let's take 1 nanosecond, I don't care, 1 cycle. Okay, so uh, at that level, I configured everything in this circuit. Now, the next step is to configure the simulation command. So here, uh, the stop time, uh, let's take 300 milliseconds. We will see that it will be, uh, uh, this time uh, will be enough to cover uh, the charge and the discharge of capacitor and I will start saving data from zero second and um, everything at zero volts in the beginning. Okay, everything is ready and uh, we can add something to make the simulation easier or more lisible. So VIN, V input and V out is the V output. So, okay, now I start my simulation and first of all we will see the form or uh, the curve of the input voltage and uh, as configured okay uh, my voltage starts uh, from zero at zero second and goes to five volts and then it remains in five volts until the time of 100 millisecond is finished okay as uh, configured and the rest of the simulation, the voltage will remain at zero volt. So, let's see the output uh, voltage. So here we can see the charge characteristic of the capacitor due to uh, the time constant of 10 milliseconds. So at 50 milliseconds somewhere here, which corresponds to five times the time, the, the time constant, 
uh, the capacitor almost reaches 5 volts. Okay? And then it will remain at this potential until the voltage uh, at the level of generator will drop to 0 volts. At that time, the capacitor will start discharging in this resistance. Okay? The current will go this side, this, uh, this, um, this way. Um, so we can see that the discharge uh, takes the same form of the charge um, uh, curve, uh, but this time in the, the other sense, okay, in the, in the other sense. So we can see at 150 millisecond, uh, the capacitor is almost completely discharged. Uh, this corresponds to uh, five times the, the time constant uh, of the circuit. So that's it for today. Thank you for your time and uh, see you soon for another video.